Okay, factoring expressions is one of the gateway skills that's necessary. <clears throat> so to factor as a verb, it's to rewrite an expression as a, an equivalent product. As a noun, it's one part of a larger factored expression. So let's look at the expression 6x squared plus 15x. Write the individual terms of 6x squared and 15x as completely factored expressions. Well, 6 is 2 times 3, and x squared is x times x. 15 is 3 times 5 and an x. So now we need to find the greatest common factor. Well, the greatest common factor, they both have a 3 and they both have an x. So 3x is our greatest common factor. Now we figure out what's left. I have a 2 and an x left. And I have a 5 left. So now I need to figure out what happens between them. Well, it's adding, so we add. So now we're going to try both of them, but put 2 in for x. So let's try the first one. So 6 times 2 squared plus 15 times 2. So 6 times 4 plus 30, 24 plus 30 is 54. Now the next one, 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 plus 5. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 times 9 is 54. Please notice that we have 54 and 54. They equal the same thing, so they are equivalent expressions. So we need to become fluent in reversing the distributive property. So for each of these, identify the greatest common factor of each. So in A, they both have 1x. Now we need to find what's the greatest common factor between 12 and 18. The biggest number that goes in both is 6. Letter B, they both have at least 2x's, and the greatest number that goes between 5 and 25 is 5. Letter C, they both have at least 1x and 5y's. And the greatest common factor between 21 and 14 is 7. Letter D, they all have at least 1x and they all have an 8 in them. Letter E, they all have at least 1x and they all have at least a 4. Letter F, they all have at least 1x and 1y. And 18, 45, and 90 all have a 9. So now that we can find the greatest common factor, we're going to rewrite them all. So for letter A, they both have an x and they both have a 2. Well, 6 divided by 2 is 3. I have an x left over. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we already used the x. Letter B. Neither of them both have an x, just one of them does, but they both have a 3. So 3x three divided by 3 is just x. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Letter C. They both have an x. They both have a 5. 10x squared divided by 5x is 2x. 15x divided by 5x is 3. Everything just has a 4. So really what you're doing is you're now dividing everything by 4. So 4x squared divided by 4 is x squared. 8x divided by 4 is 2x. 24 divided by 4 is 6. They, everything has a 2x, so divide by 2x, divide by 2x, divide by 2x. 6x to the third divided by 2x is 3x squared. 8x squared divided by 2x is 4x and 1. They both have a 5x squared, so we divide everything by 5x squared. So I have 2x minus 7. Everything has a 10. So 
So x squared minus 4x minus 5. Everything has a 2x squared. So 4x squared minus 1. And our last one, everything has an 8x. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 4. All right, so we're going to rewrite these as a product of two binomials by factoring out the common binomial. You'll notice that they both have x plus 5. So we have x plus 5. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take the x minus 1 and add it to 2x minus 3. So x plus 2x is 3x and negative 1 and negative 3 makes negative 4. Letter B. I have 2x minus 1 is the same. But I have 2x plus 7 minus x plus 3. So I'm going to rewrite that real quick. I have 2x plus 7 minus x minus negative 3, which becomes positive. So 2x minus 1x is x, 7 plus 3 is 10.